got movie massacres jumping off people going to the movies and killing people and shit that's bullshit that's some stupid motherfucking paramilitary dreaming bullshit somebody gets flipped out enough to dress himself up and go to the movie theater and start blowing people away cowardly act to the tenth degree so what do we say about people like this whoa he dressed up like a character from Batman and started blowing people away in the Batman movie wow it's not funny it's not cool the death count right now is at 12 people 12 people from some senseless bullshit, childish fantasy. Somebody out of work. Somebody down and out. Whatever the case may be. No matter what your problem is, these other people didn't have nothing to do with that shit. This is for the killer. Or killers. Sound like there was two people the way this one person described it based on what this other person described. One person said the man came in through the front door. Other person said he came in through the back. Through the exit door. So think about it. Where did he come from? Why did he do what he did? What do he think he gonna get out of? This is my first report on the Batman murders you know Batman movie massacre or the massacre movie Batman or Batman whatever ain't got nothing to do with the movie it's about some clown that thinks that you know hey whatever life is is not good for me so just let me make a whole bunch of people upset let me try to get my 15 minutes of fame and go on ahead and get fucked for the rest of my life in prison that's what this motherfucker decided. He's going to decide that he wants to be fucked for the rest of his life in a prison. That's what this guy has just decided. Because if there's any chance that this guy is going to ever see the day of light, if there's any chance that he might even walk away from that, and we need to recheck everything that we've ever learned about the justice system in the United States of these Americas. You know what I'm saying? What would propel a person to go into a movie theater and start blasting away people when the big shootout happens? What made this man do this? Over the next few minutes, I'm going to bring forth some different scenarios of why, what would be the reason for somebody to flip nasty like that in the movies. Scenario number one, maybe he used to work there. He got caught skimming and says, you know, I need that extra money, but now I'm going to get you. Scenario number one, that's what that is. Former employee getting even. Scenario number two, he don't like the people that worked at. He'd been there several times before and was disrespected by some of the people that worked there. So why not get them back on one of the biggest nights? I'm feeling crappy. That was scenario number two. Scenario number three. Applied for a job there but did not get the job because of someone black or Mexican. Or white or Mexican. He didn't get the job because someone else hooked somebody else up with the job that he was promised to. That could be scenario number three. 
Scenario number four. He never liked the Batman. He never liked the Batman movies. Someone once picked on him for being a nerd who liked Batman. And ever since he was picked on for liking the Batman movies, at a crucial time in his life, he decided to turn on the Batman movies and get even. Scenario number five. He just wanted someone to die. Someone he knew was going to be at this movie. And he wanted him or her to die. Maybe somebody decided to take his girlfriend to the movie. And he didn't want her to go to the movie with another guy. So everybody in the theater must die. Scenario number six, he did it just to get his kicks, shooting at people to make a name. Fifteen minutes of fame, forty minutes in a cell, forty minutes, shit, forty-five years in a cell. Murder spree. He wanted to be someone on TV. Or he wanted to connect himself. Or I think I'm on scenario number seven now because six was the one I just said. So maybe he wanted number seven, he wanted to connect himself to the film forever. So he can say he was a part of the film. Because now when people mention it around the Colorado area, they're going to mention, you know, the massacre when they talk about this movie. Maybe he wanted to tie himself in and be like Christian Bale or Morgan Freebird and want to be just part of it. Scenario number eight. He wanted to make himself look like the first super villain so scenario number nine he's jealous of someone else somebody who maybe worked on the movie he wanted to get his little two cents in I don't know. There's a million things that could have happened. There's a million things that did happen. Now at this moment as I speak to search in this man's loft, his apartment, his pad, his home, his house. For explosions? For real? You got bombs too? Maybe there's an even more sinister component. Maybe he's a vet. Come back after one funky ass tour of duty. And he's just tired. He's at the end. Can't get a job. Zimmerman's got people donating him hundreds of thousands of dollars for a murder he committed. This is my shot. I was temporarily blinded by the, all these black people causing me strife and strain. I can't get a job because of the Mexicans. My wife is tripping. Those ain't my kids. Regardless of whatever festering clump of bullshit was going on in his brain, what would possess an idiot or a strange motherfucker or whatever, what would possess somebody to go take a bunch of innocent people out? Hmm? What is the mitigating factor? What tipped the scales? 
I hope this bastard would have got killed. I wished he would have died in that shit. You got balls enough to shoot a bunch of innocent fucking people down, but when somebody got a gun point on your ass, you ain't got balls to fire back. What about that? What about them just blasting this motherfucker and like, shit, you was you and the one in there? Bye out! Blast this motherfucker! But now, we gotta go watch this shit on motherfucking CNN and, and goddamn In Session and shit. Now we gotta see another nut on fucking TV going to court for some bullshit. But, they say he gave up. Take me in. See, he's sitting in his car. He just gave up. And that leads me to believe that there was probably two people. They trying to pull a fast one, maybe. I don't know. Maybe the guy in the car sitting down was scared to fire his bullets. And his homeboy went buck wild on the innocent people watching the movie. Innocent people. It's a three-month-old baby up in there. Who the hell takes their kid to a rated PG-13 movie at three months? Three months old, you don't have a sitter to go see the midnight showing a Batman. I am perplexed. I am disappointed. This how it is. Is this the American nightmare? Been taught to be dreamers. Hmm? Is this the American nightmare here? Hmm? What do you think it is? I want you to comment on the bottom of this video. Give me a scenario or two. Tell me what you think happened in this crazy son of a bitch's mind. Tell me what you think should happen to this son of a bitch. Tell me. Don't be afraid not to comment on my videos. I know some of you are scared to comment on one such as myself. I know that you don't want people to think that you relate to me in any way, shape, or form. I don't want them people not to view your videos anymore because you comment on my little video. Well, get some balls about yourself, people. You motherfuckers afraid to comment and uh, give me your opinion on my videos like you're going to be blacklisted like me? Tell you what, the truth of the matter is this. Nobody gives a shit about your channel. Nobody gives a shit about your opinion. And nobody gives a shit about you. So when you're afraid to comment on my videos because you think you're going to be listed, you've already been listed. Okay? So those of you who uh, believe, because there is some point of guilt by association on YouTube. You comment on certain people's videos and all of a sudden your shit just don't get played. But this is just like any other TV station, radio station. The money talks and the bullshit walks. Unless you uh, want to promote your video, then they ain't fucking with you on YouTube. It's a goddamn lie, though, because the those who know you, those who know your name, still going to watch your videos, regardless of who you comment on or what have you. I still can't get over the fact that I commented against this one guy and all the so-called sisters and brothers bailed out because they were scared to go up against the white man. This is fucking YouTube. There's an idiot blasting people at movie theaters, which they said they caught him.
And I'm just asking you to comment on the bottom of this video. Write down what you think happened. What you think could tip someone off and make them flip the fuck out. Those are the answers in which I want to hear. I want to hear what would make somebody flip out in your mind and kill people. Because people are simple as a pimple. And a lot of these people need to be popped. I said it. I said people need to be popped. Because egos explode, feelings get hurt, and people go out and do massacres because their feelings are hurt. What could possibly trigger something in someone based on your honest opinion? I'm not asking you to send me a check. I'm not asking you to give me your social security number. I'm not asking you to tell me about what your mama doing tonight. All I'm asking you is this. Tell me what you think Flip somebody's mind out. And then if enough people talk, then we can get a picture of what goes on in anybody's mind. Because I can tell you what I think flipped him out. I just gave you seven scenarios. Or eight scenarios. I forget. Here's the number ten scenario. Number ten. He was supposed to go to the movies with a group of friends. And this group of friends decided not to go with him. You get it? Maybe because of the, out, the outrageous costume. Maybe it's because of his attitude. But this group of people that he hangs around with, that he always kicks it with, for some weird reason didn't want him at this flick with them. And he went to go get his friends. You don't want to go to the movie with me. I'll fuck it up for you. That could have happened too. What I'm trying to say to you is just give me your opinion. Write it down. Hook up a video camera like I did and give me a scenario. Tell me what you think made this man flip. Was his girlfriend working at the movies? She had been an employee there. And he said, you know, I got to work tonight, honey. I, the Batman movie's coming out. And he probably thought she was lying. Get it? Or she probably wanted to go to work because the other guy is working that night. A whole bunch of things could have went on in this person's brain. What I'm asking you is to pick it out of your brain. Put it on a piece of paper. Study it. And put a camera in front of you and say what you've studied. Or just type it in the bottom of the damn screen. But it is a sad day when you can't go to a movie, can't go out to the drive in, you can't go out to a walk in, you can't. Go to the store to get a beer. You can't walk to the store to get a soda if you're a kid. Somebody might try to snatch you up and molest you and shit. What have we become as a species when we alienate each other and we go out on murder sprees because our feelings are hurt? Because no one understands us? They don't like me, so I'm going to do this to them. Whatever plagues us, there is a growing amount of mental illness in this country. So slight, so big, that it affects every single one of us. So when I ask you to give me your opinion, it's not for me. It's for all those people who see these videos who could get several different opinions from several different kinds of people. And when they're out in public, 
they can start looking at how they talk and treat other people. See what I'm saying? Because it could have just been somebody in the audience getting ready to walk into the movie. That says, look at this idiot in costume. He looks like a fucking dummy. And then he decided, that's the theater I'm going into. Because if somebody wants to dress up in a costume as one of the greatest Star Wars characters in line at the Star Wars movie, it's fine. Chewbacca, Yoda, Han Solo. Cool. Go to a Batman movie, you dress up like the Joker, Harley Quinn, you know, the Penguin, Batman, and or Robin. So on and so forth. It's how we treat each other is what made this person flip the fuck out. It's an overwhelming human ability to disconnect, to ignore. Sometimes people don't want to be ignored. They leech, they leech, they lash out. And they leech off people too, some of them, but they lash out. Like a kid having a tantrum, and when he's done with his tantrum, he's like, okay. So, give me your opinion. Comment. Be truthful when you comment, too. Because a lot of people don't want to tell the truth when they comment. They're like, oh, yeah, I thought he killed because, you know, he was probably tired of this movie series and decided that, you know, they should never make another one. And so he decided to blow up the theater. Regardless of what your thoughts may be. I want to hear them. I literally want to hear from you. So like I say, people see my videos and assume that, oh, he's going to talk to Hitler stuff. Oh, he's just being a, what do they call me? A sympathizer for white people. Why would I be a sympathizer for white people? Why would I be a sympathizer for any people? I don't sympathize for nobody. I don't feel sorry for anybody. Okay? So my opinions are based on my feeling. This is why I don't flip out and blow shit up. Because I can talk to you people. We can blow shit up in a, what's the world I want to say, in a virtual world. A world where I control the whole planet. I can, go, I can go design a video game to, to d destroy the world if I want to, okay? You know, I can write a story about, ooh, conquering the earth. I can do that. I can write, I can, I can actually make plans on how to, to conquer the planet, earth. I can do that. So why would I go blow up a movie theater? I go shoot a bunch of innocent people. If you were to go crazy and fuck up some shit, comment on that too. Put that on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. What will people do? What won't people do? What have people done? Why do people do what they do? When we can explore every aspect of ourselves, we can figure ourselves out without someone having to stick a probe up our ass and check our temperature with their fist across our foreheads. You still don't understand me, do you? Five years of talking the same old shit, you motherfuckers still don't understand me. It's not about me, folks. It's about you, your opinions. I'm the catalyst. I'll draw the picture for you and you tell me what the fuck it looked like. That's how we've always worked. So I want to just tell you guys, uh, Thank you for tuning in. The uploads will be going on, shit, probably another two months before the uploads start. Um, you know, like I said, the last of my live videos are pretty much finished. 
um, the new video system they have going now. Um, my videos don't stop anymore, so but the quality of the videos sucks. But sucks. Tell you. Sucks. So this has a built-in camera, so that's how this is. Um, like I said I spoke to you for the 25:30, so I'm done for the day, maybe for the week. I'm still doing a lot of editing. So comment on this video. This video will be called the Batman Movie Massacre. I just need your opinions. The more opinions we have, the better we can figure this thing out. And you know. To be a backyard detective is a hell of a lot being a, than being a Monday morning quarterback. A backyard detective, we can constantly pick and pick and pick and pick and pick and pick until they show it on TV and tell us what really happened. When you're that backyard, backyard quarterback, when you're that Monday morning quarterback, you can only comment about what you would have did in a basketball game. Oh, basketball game. I'm, not just, I'm just talking crazy right now. If you're that Monday morning, <laughs> Monday morning, <laughs> If you're that Monday money, <laughs> okay, let's do this. If you are that Monday morning quarterback, all you can do is talk about a football game that's already been played and plays that you would have tried to make if you were in the game. You know, like that jump shot I'm talking about in basketball. <laughs> oh, well. I just want to tell you folks, thank you for your time. I got to go and, um, don't forget to comment. Where are these? And if you notice, I'm wearing glasses now. I will tell you something. I hate glasses, but now that I wear, I can see now. But this CD case looked big as hell. So without the glasses, the contrast is all messed up. But with my glasses on, I can I can literally see. It's a damn shame that I had to end up going to the dollar store to get my vision back. Got an eye appointment in a couple of weeks. Then I'll go get some real glasses from somewhere else. But if they give me the same numbers, I'll just go back to the dollar store because my wife be buying glasses like one fifty and one eighty. I ain't trying to spend two hundred dollars to see nothing. I can go without glasses. It's better when everything is foggy anyway. That way you ain't got to worry about looking at everybody in HD. All right, I'm out here, folks. I love you guys. Bless you. And uh, stay safe because the idiots, the idiots are out. And um, they're only going to get worse. So, um, like I said, stay safe. And this has been the Batman Movie Murders.